using the and or functions in IMAP. So the easiest way to explain this search is just to show you a sample search. And I have one set up here. When you're using and or, the simplest way to think of this is and means the criteria has to be met, or means or any of these other criteria need to be met. So with this, we're going to say property use code is one of, and I'm going to choose a single family home. I want it to be only single family homes. I also want the owner to be a Florida resident. So I chose owner is a Florida resident equal to yes. I've also chosen owner occupied equal to no. So I want it to be a single family home. I want the person to live in Florida, but I don't want them to live at the property. I've also chosen a sale date where it has to be less than or equal to 8-1-2017 and greater than 8-1-2015. So I'm just boxing in two years where the last sale may have happened. I'm also choosing, I want it to be in Miami, but also or in Hialeah. Now, so I'm looking for a single family home where the person lives in Florida, but they don't live at the property between two years of a date right here, two different cities, and then for the home, I want the taxes to be delinquent or unoccupied. And when we use unoccupied address, we have some kind of intelligence in the background that tells us that mail is not being delivered to the property. So they're not paying their taxes, they're not getting mail. They do live in Florida, but they don't live at the property. It's a single family home, and I also do not want the name, the owner name, to contain LLC. So I don't want it to be like an investor or some kind of corporation or an entity. I want it to be a human being that lives in Florida, not at the property, but it is a single family home. And I want them for sure to have delinquent taxes or maybe not getting mail as well. I'm trying to build a distress pattern here. Let's do a start search. and we're coming up with 259 results.